Good day. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Atari 8-Bit Gameplay. Today I've got uh, queued up for you Ms. Pac-Man by Atari in 1983. Um, nice title screen, actually. Um, take a little screenshot there for my uh, title card on YouTube. The, uh, the interface here is similar to Pac-Man and Dig Dug in that you can choose your difficulty level with the um, option key. Uh, bear, that might be an easy version. I think Banana is the hardest and then Cherry is the, the default. Um, you know, as I've said before, it's quite nice to have the option to choose your starting level. It allows you to see different parts of the game or play different parts of the game without having to uh, perhaps play through um, levels that you've already more or less mastered in order to see the later ones. I mean that's true to how the arcade worked but there was no, really no reason to force you to do that in a in a home context, right? So it shows a little bit of thought for the player experience and then the other option to set is one or two players and that's it. So, music, there you go. Music is very much the same as the arcade. The maze, although stretched, is the same, I'm going to say, as the arcade. Um, I don't know if it's going to be apparent in this video, but Ms. Pac-Man was a game that I was pretty good at in the arcade. I could usually get to the uh, third set of mazes and sometimes the fourth. Um, I think my record setting games were probably, I believe the mazes sort of went up to a certain point, I think the fourth, there was four, four different ones, and then they started running backwards again after you had done each one a set number of times, a certain number of times. Um, so anyway, so far the gameplay is pretty authentic, you're, you're slowed down by the dots, um, alright, I wasn't able to get all of the ghosts. Uh, but very, in the same way as they do in the arcade, the uh, the ghosts that you have eaten um, run back to their their spawn point and then re respawn immediately. So even though there may be uh, ghosts running around the maze that you can still eat, there are ones that will still be able to get you if they if they if you collide with them. So there you go. That's this is looking. This is pretty true. I'm gonna say. Um, you get five players, which I expect was something that could be set by dip switches in the arcade version. Um, the arcades that I played in were were absolutely. I think always set to three players. Okay, here we go. So the second round of the same maze. Just like the arcade, it's faster. Um, you get your second uh, type of fruit bouncing through the maze. Different from Pac-Man in that the fruit... Oops, oops, oops. I hit a ghost inside the tunnel there. Um, the fruit bounces through the maze as opposed to just sitting in the middle like in Pac-Man. So, you know, a, a, a slight evolution to the game. Um, gets harder and harder to get you know, all the points for the ghosts as you go further into the game, they... Oh, you should have chased me, Mr. Clyde, or whatever your name is. So, uh, the difference between Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man is that I think Pac -Man, uh, Ms. Pac-Man has an eye and a bow, so that's how you... that's how you know it's a Ms. Pac-Man, I'm gonna say, by the eye. Um, the way I'm going here, though, I may not get to the second maze. Of course, there's the distorted aspect ratio thing that was so common. Um, not a huge fan, but I think the mindset of the day was that you had to use the as much of the screen real estate as, as you could, or else people would, I don't know what the logic was, feel cheated maybe. All right, rather than go after the ghost there, I'm gonna... Oh, it's got the intermissions. Very true to the arcade. Um, okay, yeah, maze number two. Let's have a quick look at the layout here. Same, same, it's, it's the arcade layout. For sure. So I'm gonna say they did a pretty nice version of uh, adapting that. 
for certain. Uh, what I started saying was I was going to choose to finish the level instead of go for the absolute maximum points for getting the ghosts. Um, which is probably your better gameplay strategy in the long run in terms of maximizing points unless you're pretty confident that you can grab the ghosts, clear the mazes. You get a good opportunity to take a run at the maze while the ghosts are running away from you. I've only got one power pellet left. This might get uh, might get a little tricky here. We'll see if I can pull it off. Depends which way these guys go. Oh, don't reverse on me. Oh, I should have gone up. Should have gone up. I could have been a contender. All right. Well, I'll finish this maze. Uh, I'm trying to remember if you have to play this one two times or three times to get to the next maze. We're on pretzel bonus, which is starting to be... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Pretzel is starting to be a fair number of points for getting the bonus item. I think it might be 700. Yep, 700. All right, I didn't strictly, as it turns out, have to go after the... Or, uh, use the power pellet there, but anyway, spilled milk and all that. Uh-oh, again. So the ghost AI is different than the arcade, for sure. My instincts seem to be wrong, or at least a little bit wrong, and they were definitely honed on uh, the arcade. So let's try, let's see, strawberry would be, yeah, okay, strawberries, okay, yeah, sorry. I'm uh, strawberry, orange, pretzel. We were on pretzel. Let's try cherry. Nope, that's that's the same maze, but on a higher speed. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Actually, in the arcade, um, I typically found the higher speeds to be well, if easier is quite the right word, but um, not harder and you move through the levels more quickly definitely I think the cherries worth a thousand yeah so those bonus point items are definitely worth pursuing on these level on these higher levels the banana if you get that far I think was 5,000 points so that is an exceptional bonus point win to get the 5,000 I could have probably grabbed oh, whoop, 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 whoop. Not your smoothest gameplay that you've ever seen. That might have been a mistake. Nope, got her. Alright. Act to the chase. Oh, that's a good reason to, to play that level. So you can see the intermission. This was uh, a fun thing about the arcades, especially the first few times you saw it. Um, you know, if you played the game a thousand times, you, you weren't so interested in the intermissions anymore, but... They were they were unique and fun. Okay, here we go. Level three. Now in the arcade, diving down into that little loop was almost always the right move, right off the bat. Oh ho ho! They out they outran me. Yikes. Okay. I mean, you, they do get faster than you in the arcade game for sure. Um, so you have to be very judicious about staying away from the the ghosts, or at least far enough away that. Uh, they weren't going to corner you, or, or outrun you. And then you also had to be a little bit... Oh, oh, that's not where I wanted to go. I meant to go down the tunnel. <laughs> oh well, spilled milk and all that. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, here we go. Uh, a few scattered dots and lots of pellets, power pellets, so I should be good to go here. Come on, let's get some points. I actually didn't notice if you get a new a new Ms. Pack for for ten thousand. I think that's the threshold. Oh here we are. Banana bonus. Ooh, ooh, that was close. So the the, the power pellets don't last too long anymore. I was gonna go for the banana. 5,000. Yay me. Uh, the tunnel becomes important. 
quite important at this point. Oh, 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 oh. The pellet, the dots really slow you down. Um, when you're free running without eating dots, you're, I think you're still a match for the ghosts, but when you're eating dots, they can outrun you. Alrighty, let's... I think banana is the highest bonus item you get in this, in this game. Oh, what the heck, let's go for the 5, though. Oh, that was super cheap. I might have, had I turned towards him, I might have been able to uh, eat him instead of him killing me. Oh yeah, let's see if I can finish off this level. I think you might, you might have to actually play this one for, oh, oh, cheese, pure cheese. Okay, banana. I think banana is as far as you can advance in terms of uh, choosing your play level as well. No option for a high score, I guess. No. Banana, bear. Let's see what bear is. This is the... Oh yeah, okay. That's what I was thinking it might be. <coughs> this is the first maze. <coughs> Excuse me. And... Um, it's all a little slower, so in this case, bear means kid, kid friendly. Wonder what the bear's worth point wise. Let's find out. Oh, maybe not. 50 points. <laughs> I feel like it should have been like 8,000 so that the kids could feel a false sense of accomplishment. Um, Alright, so we'll skip out on the bear. See what happens. Banana, I suspect, just starts you on the. Yeah. If I were to get past this, which I probably won't bother playing all the way that, that far, but if I were to successfully get past this level, I think I, I think you still have to play this this level again in order to uh, advance. Oh oh oh. So the ghosts, when they enter the tunnel, whoop, darn it. The ghosts, when they enter the tunnel, uh, slow down a little bit as well, so that's another crucial element in not getting caught, understanding some of those mechanics. More important to clear the maze at this point than anything else. So, um, I mean, the banana would be nice to get, but not important. Okay, yeah, got to play the banana level again. And in the arcade, I'm, I'm kind of doubting my own memory. I'm pretty sure there is a fourth maze, which um, you only get... Uh oh which you only get to after clearing this one, I'm going to say four times. I think it's four times. Can I do it? Probably. Ah yes, extra player for 10k, and I clear this maze, I clear this maze, oh, oh, now I'm not sure, I don't know if I'm going to be able to manage a four, uh, another time here, we'll see, let us see, shall we, let us find out together, I was going to wrap the video up, but what the heck, let's keep going, the average watch time on these things is only a couple minutes anyway, so, at this point, I'm really doing it for myself more than the audience. Go away. Oh, cheap, 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 said the bird. Uh, two pellets, quite a few. Quite a few things to clear. That was not what I wanted. Go out here, come down here. Oh, maybe I will. Let's see how this goes. Nice. Act three, Junior. I should have known. I should have known they'd have all the acts. I think that's it. Uh, and here's the fourth maze. 
All right, my memory did not betray me, which happens more frequently than you might think in your mid-50s. Yeah, excellent, excellent. This is really quite good, actually. It, it has... All right. All right, there's a good stopping point. At least we got to see the, the fourth maze. Still the banana bonus, so that is the highest... I'm pretty sure that's the highest bonus item you can get. And uh, I'm, I think that's all I have to say about that. So, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Have a good day. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time.